Hi everyone, this is the next round in our series of short in-depth films on specific works shown in and by artists represented by Philipp von Rosen Gallery. Today I'm talking about the sculpture Giant Steps by Martin Gervers. Giant Steps was created in 2020 and is made out of three volumes, each a pillar over a triangular ground plan. It is the perfect example of a sculpture that must and should be seen from all sides. 25 years ago, the Renaissance and Baroque sculptures of Berlin's sculpture collections were exhibited under the title von allen Seiten schön, beautiful from all sides. And this dictum also applies to giant steps. This is why, apart from the actual experience in the room, the representation with moving images is also the means of choice for this work. Giant steps has no beginning and no end. It is a work that can be circulated and experienced endlessly. Let us begin with the position where, in the center, a rectangular bright white surface seems to jump towards us. An immediate, very energetic effect, almost physical, is created. We experience ourselves in a situation that can be described as the contrast between here my body and there the sculpture. The surfaces that are pointing to the back on the right and left, above and below, are white on the left and deep blue and shiny on the right. And the impression of the whole is one of lightness and elegance. If we move clockwise around the sculpture, it seems as if the blue is virtually turned off at a very specific moment. This is an almost digital moment. Yes, no, or blue, present, not present. Exactly at that moment, when blue disappears, a warm, rich yellow surface appears. One could also speak of a switched on in the center. And again, it is a quasi-digital moment. Yellow, yes, no. The white rectangular surface in the center, which was so eye-catching before, disappears to the outer right edge. The whole tower gains in fragility, especially in comparison to its impressive stability in the first picture, if you want. And this is basically how it continues. Every step around the sculpture leads to new impressions, physical spatial ones, as well as in terms of color. One tries to understand the matter cognitively, and whenever a certain color has just been switched off, tries to imagine where it is now and in which further constellation. But the cognitive imagination is probably not sufficient for most people to bring the work to their inner eye and create a complete picture there. Only the movement around the sculpture leads to a holistic experience. By the way, the whole time we have spoken of sculpture. Correctly, however, we should also talk of three-dimensional painting of a painting that takes place in actual and not only painted space. The three color tones used, the non-color white, the night blue and the yellow, are, as is always the case in Martin Gerber's works, carefully selected and related to each other. Blue and yellow are complementary to each other and therefore have a particular convincing effect and relationship. And the white neutralizes this intensity somewhat and creates a space for us to think or pause. Gervas also plays with the quality of the surface. The blue areas are painted in high-gloss acrylic resin lacquer, a perfect surface. The yellow and white surfaces are painted in acrylic on MDF. All the work is done by hand. It is not an industrially manufactured product. Accordingly, traces of the process of creation can be seen. Thanks for following. We'll be back soon with the next round in our in-depth talks about specific artworks represented by Philipp von Rosen Gallery. Let me know should you want to visit the gallery and see the real things. 
This is possible again, and you are more than welcome to come. Thanks, and see you soon. Bye-bye.